Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I have created this look for you guys. It's a cut crease look with um, some glitter liner and a deep lip. Um, I'm really loving this lip colour at the moment. Like I don't wear purples a lot but I don't know. I just I felt dark this morning but I don't know. I felt a little bit edgy this morning and I was like hmm. I'm going to use a dark lip today. So that's what I did. Um, but if you're not feeling this dark lip, totally go for whatever you want. Like, it's not compulsory. You can rock it with a nude lip, um, pale pink lip, a brown lip, absolutely anything. Um, this look, this eye look will go with any colour. That's why I've made it quite neutral. Um, it has got hints of like mauves and some rose tones in there. So that will go with absolutely any lip colour, like, the world is your oyster. But yeah, uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this look guys, um, leave me your feedback, your suggestions, anything like that. Um, I'll list all the products that I used in the description box down below, um, and I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye! Basically, I made a smoothie. Um, it's got melon and strawberries in it, but it's oh my god, it's oh, it's so sour. I think I went, I think I got a bit carried away with the Greek yogurt. But I was just trying to be healthy. Like, oh, is this what I get for being healthy? I don't think I can drink it. Basically, it's really off topic, but. I used to put um, frozen yogurt in there and that tasted so much better. But obviously natural yogurt is the most healthiest option. Well, it's healthier than frozen yogurt anyway. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'll be putting that in again. Anyway. The majority of the eyeshadows I'm going to be using for this tutorial are from the Exotic Lotus Palette from the brand Velvet59. Be sure to check them out on Instagram, their eyeshadows are amazing, so pigmented. So using a small fluffy taper brush I am picking up the shade Kyoto Kimono, I think that's how you say it, don't quote me on that, and I am blending that into my crease. This is a really nice um, rose toned mauve type eyeshadow. With this particular shade though, I did find that I had to build it up quite a lot. I had to go back and forth applying this eyeshadow, but this is the only eyeshadow that I had this problem with. The rest are fine. So after we've applied that eyeshadow, I am picking up the shade called Sake Plum, also from the same palette, using this tiny small tapered blending brush from Luxie Beauty. It is in the number 231. This brush is perfect for definition and amazing for cut creases. As you can see, I am applying this shade just a little bit above my crease and I am winging it out on the outer corner of my eye. After that I'm going to take my fluffy blending brush and just make sure to blend that really well um, so it removes any harsh lines that we may have just to give it that seamless flawless finish. At this stage don't worry too much if you have got colour transferring onto your lid, we are going to correct that in just a minute. Now just pick up any brush that you have with a sharp tip and carve out that crease using a cream concealer. Here I am using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. And I'm just carving that out, giving it a sharp crease. And then I'm going to fill that in 
using the concealer so it creates a nice base for us for us to apply the eyeshadow. And just a little tip for you guys, if you do have a slightly hooded eye, you can draw on your crease a little bit higher. This will give you more lid space to work with. Now picking up the Makeup Addiction new Vintage Palette, I am using the shade Fussy Cream and applying that onto the area that we had just applied the concealer. Not only did that concealer define our crease, but it will also be working as a primer. So that light coloured eyeshadow that we are applying on top will show up a lot more brighter. Be sure to set that concealer good though with that eyeshadow as we don't want any creasing throughout the day. Okay, so now that we've got that lid colour down, I am going to further define that crease a little bit more um, here I am using a eyeshadow, I mean an eyebrow brush and I am applying that same um, Sake Plum eyeshadow, that dark brown that we use and just going over it once more, adding that little bit of definition and just carving it out a little bit more. And now here I am blending out my lower lash line using the same shades that we used above on the crease. Um, I am using Kyoto Kimono and Sake Plum and applying it and blending it out as I go. For my brow bone highlight I have mixed the shades Sunburst and Dripping in Gold from the Anastasia That Glow palette. And I'm just applying that right under my brows. And I am using those two same shades that I used on my brow bone and applying that on my inner tear dot. This will give me that bright eyed effect. Here I am just giving myself a winged liner using the NYC liquid liner. Don't worry too much if your liquid liner isn't perfect as we are going to be adding glitter after and that will hide any imperfections. I am using this rose gold glitter from the brand called Certify and Lit Cosmetics Liquid Adhesive. These two are a match made in heaven. And I'm just adding this liner directly above my liquid liner. So this is what I meant by it doesn't matter if your liquid liner isn't perfect as the glitter will be concealing those areas. Here I am just cleaning up my eyeliner now because we might have a little bit of glitter that fell onto it so we just want to make it as neat as possible.
then just go ahead and pop on your favourite falsies. I am using Awa lashes in style I can't remember, but I will link it in the description box down below, so don't worry. So now I am lining my lips with MAC Cosmetics Magenta Lip Liner. Um, really I should have used something darker and more purple toned but I didn't have one at hand so I'm just using this one. But if you've got one, use a darker one. Now I am going to fill in my lips with that beautiful deep purple shade. Um, this one is from Stila Cosmetics and it is called Chianti. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at it. Now this part is totally optional but um, I wanted a little bit more definition on my lips so I added this hot pink shade from OPB called Shine. This is also a liquid lipstick and just added that in the centre and now I'm tapping it out with my fingers. And just to clean that up, I am using a concealer brush and a little bit of concealer just to sharpen that up and make it look more neat. So this is the finished look you guys. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!